from what I think is the mid 1980s based on its styling and other units I can find. This is the RK5000 Emerson LED clock kitchen timer. It's not an alarm clock. There's no way to set different times on it like that. Um, no alarm to turn on or off really. We have a radio off on and auto, AM FM bands, our scale for FM and AM. We have our display which we'll see when I plug it in, hour, minute. AM has the red dot in this case, not PM. And there's a little thing here to show when your accessory outlet is on for the kitchen. And over here we have our outlet switch. You can do a quick on off or it's on automatic so you can turn your outlet on at a certain time really and here's our clock settings for run and automatic we have a button to set the hours minutes our timer set and our timer off and a button to turn the radio off when it comes on via the timer around this side we have our accessory outlet uh, for coffee makers 1520 watts for other appliances 950 watts There's nothing really around the back and underneath we have our specifics Emerson RK5000 Miscellaneous stuff made in Hong Kong and it has a kitchen space saver thing. You'll notice that what looks like a handle really isn't a handle. There's two spots to flip this up and mount it under your kitchen cabinet. That's one reason it has an accessory outlet on it because the radio itself is going to take up an outlet. So let's plug it in and see what's going on. All right, so using the auto function, I have set an auto time to 6.05. It's now 6.01. I've set the auxiliary outlet to auto. It should turn on at 6.05. And I have set the radio to auto. That should turn on at 6.05. And if that comes on at 6.05, I should be able to turn the radio off with this. Um, this connection here for this little light I use for some of my electronic testing, it's kind of dodgy. I don't know if that's the radio or if it's the uh, prongs on this little outlet here, but at 6.05, maybe we'll see something. If you produce a good television right. show in a good race out of this horrible the, uh, radio turned on situation you might and the auxiliary outlet sports. turned on it, it certainly is possible and I can turn the radio off and I can reset and turn the uh, outlet off so now everything's back to normal now if there's just a reason I want to turn the outlet on right away I can go to quick on come on come on there we go quick on or off back to off and this does have a typical sort of a countdown timer well it's not a sleep timer because when it turns off when the timer reaches zero it um, makes a really loud noise, horrendously loud noise. So pushing timer set, and that's 59 minutes. But in this one, you can actually go to an hour and 59 if you're cooking something. But by pushing that, we go back to 59 minutes, and we can run it all the way down. So you'll be able to hear the timer and the noise it makes. So if you've got something cooking in the kitchen for 
up to two hours. That'll certainly wake you up, but it's really not an alarm clock. You only do the two hours. All right, let's check out some of the radio stations, although you pretty much know what they're going to sound like. I'm going to, I'm going to unplug this little Christmas tree bulb here. I don't think sometimes my radio likes this thing plugged in. And it is hard to get in and out. Horrendously hard. There. What's up with that thing? Alright, let's... Radio's on off. Let's turn it on. Winter. New car did four stops, and one of those just simply it's because he came in and topped off, and that's actually what helped win him the race. The rest really did three stops. And also of note, it's election these day aren't here. competition cautions. Primaries. Not stop the race every 35 laps. These are green flag stops, as I understand them. So there's going to be a lot of math involved, which I'm not good at. But every 35 laps. Should tune in the dial there. Officially married. Like, in in there. Like I can't leave it. Music as you. Yeah, I can't get enough of me. Oh. Oh. Keep on trying. Tyler say. Everybody does. But we want to hear from you. So send a text right now. It's one of the reasons, frankly, that I quite often enjoy reading the works of people who are now with the Lord. Because at least And stress in the system and uh to find out how you pay nothing for Dial star star one one four eight. That. This report is sponsored by Taco Bell. If you're feeling boxed in, it might as well be with a box of. That that too is a convention race. The attorney general is nominated up by the. Prove that, which, you know, by modern standards is not scientific as we understand it at all. But well, we're getting down to the so, bottom. So they had that, you know, kind of authority no more music, of, of, I don't um, think. Of, the, of being people who are looking. So those are the radio functions and the timer functions um, of the Emerson FMAM LED clock kitchen timer. No alarm clocks, things like that. It actually took me quite a bit of time to figure out when I could use that and the various settings of auto here, here, and here to get things to turn on right and how to set a second time with that. So it was not a straightforward task figuring out how to use this, I'm almost embarrassed to say. But I think uh, if you had one of these back in the day and you had the space in the kitchen cabinets and wanted to mount one of these under it, it would have been a nice little radio. But I will say that it's better to have it under a cabinet unless you can play it like this because the speaker is down firing and there's no little feet here to lift the speaker up. So it's a very, very muffled sound if you don't have it propped up like this or hanging under a cabinet. Well, that's it. I hope you like this RK5000 from probably the mid-80s and Emerson Radio. Thanks for watching. Bye.